Hey what's up awesome people welcome to this another video by useful AI in this video I'm gonna show you on how to set up starter plan for clothing brand in Shopify step by step guide if you like to use your Shopify out of the most of its capacity then you want to make sure to watch this video until the very end so let's get started by the way if you'd like to have your Shopify account for just only one dollar for the first three months you can go to the description and after you watch this entire video and I will be leaving the link down there. And if you click on that link, you will be redirected right here in this page. And it says that start for free, then enjoy $1 per month for your first three months. If you like it, just simply head over to the description, click the link and put your email right here. And you can now enjoy the first three months for your just only $1. As you can see, I'm here at the home page of Shopify. In this video is to help you out to start your online business if you are thinking to create your own product and to sell it later on here on Shopify or you are the person that you want to try the drop shipping which is print on demand. So what is print on demand? Print on demand is something like you don't need to worry about shipping, delivery and even dealing with customer. All you need to do is to create the design. So the first thing you're gonna need to do when you are here in the home page of Shopify is to go to the apps by clicking the add apps and this will pop up and you will see these apps right here. Now scroll down a bit and select on Shopify app and the new tab will open. Now in the search bar look for print on demand. So when you are here you will see this bunch of print on demand applications. So right now I will try this gelato. So you want to click on there, click install, wait for a little bit, then now Gelato will ask you to connect your online shop. And if you have multiple account, you will see it right there. So now I will select my online shop and this will pop up and click install app. And Gelato will ask to connect your Google account. So I'm going to connect my Google account. And right here, you need to select the Google account that is connected to your Shopify. Then this face asking Questions will start first. What is your goal using Gelato? You want to shop for yourself, or you just exploring, or you just want to grow your business, or launching an online business, want to earn money as an affiliate, or you want to sell your products to your followers. So select one of these. Ne next question: Which one of these describes you the most? You have here other. Or you're an uh, influencer with a strong community. You're a seasoned e-commerce seller. You have experience with marketing and advertising. You love on running business. And you can create best-selling design. So just select one of these. And the next question is what product are you interested in? You have here clothing, paper print, wall art, drinkware, or other merch. Of course, we're going to select clothing clothing and that's why we are doing this tutorial. Now, how did you hear about Gelato? Word of mouth, review site, podcast, influencer, just googling, other in social media or blog. So I'm gonna select social media. Then this last question, which channel did you see us in? So you have here Reddit, YouTube, TikTok, Pinterest, LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook or others. So select one of these and now you just need to click on the checkbox and hit finish. And wait for a little bit seconds for it to be done. Once you've done filling up the necessary details, then this congratulations will pop up. You can actually select on how would you like to import and process your orders. You want it automatic? Where importing all future orders into Gelato will be automatic as well as sending orders to production. Or you can choose manually where orders must need an approval before it is sent to be print. So I'm going to choose automatic and click on create a new product in order to continue. So first get into started here in Gelato. Now here in Gelato you wanted to create your product. So now click on the create product and upload design and here select a file meaning your design so i will be uploading a file that i just created from ai image gener generator 
Once the image was uploaded, you want to click on continue. So here, there is a lot of option that you can try with your design. So you have here the wall art, clothing, phone cases, mugs, and more. So we want to go focus on the clothing. So you want to click on there, the men's clothing. So here, you need to select which one do you want. Like t-shirt, tank top, long sleeves, or whatever that you think is it is okay. And you can see also the colors, the starting price, and the profit from it. Now you can try to select the best seller, which is this t-shirt. And you can edit it, the product. And wait for a bit second for the edit page will pop up. In this page, you will see these options right here. You can select the available color and size. And you can also edit the size of your design in the t-shirt. Now select Save Changes. After that, you can go and select Continue. Now you want to select for the mockups of your product. You can select with these options that you think that is good. Let's say I would like to select these options. And it goes with all the colors as you can see here. Now, you want to select on continue. In the details section, you can edit your product name or title or you can just leave it there. Or you can try to search for the best keywords to get your product optimized. And down there is the description. If you're good with that, select continue. Now you are here on the price page. So here, you can set up all the price with all your selected variants. You're gonna see the retail price, price guide, product cost, shipping cost, and estimated profit. So I want you to focus on the estimated profit. So obviously, it is your possible profit for any successful transaction where the retail price will subtract to the cost, which is product and shipping cost. And you will come up with this margin. You can set the margin percentage up to how much do you like. You can make it, for example, 50% and click set. Now you can look at the profit goes higher. I just suggest you to make it at least 5% if you are just starting and make it higher later on when you already know your value. So I make it 5% and you can see all the variance has been changed all the prices too. So now, click on the continue, and you will see here the product summary of your product. Product name, size, style, retail price, and profit markup. So you want to click on publish and wait for the item done publishing, and it will automatically add it to your products on your shop. Once it has been added, you can go to your shop on Shopify, click on products, and you can see right here your products. And when I click on this product, you will see here your item title, description, and the designs. And when you try to go to your online store, and when you click on that, click on view, your shop. And when you go down, you can see your products. And when you click on the clothing, it will look like this. It will look like professional. Yeah, you can also connect this to any platform like your YouTube, Facebook, or Google. For example, in this Google and YouTube app, click on Manage Products, and you can add here your item that will automatically post to your Google Merchant account. Fill all this up, and hit Save. And now you can do it to any platform too. So yeah, I think that's it. If you like more of this kind of tutorial, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and like this video and I will see you next time. Have a nice day.